So I took this class. Am I supposed to think about this world or those worlds? Maybe getting from this one to that one or what they'll think of us when they get here. In a nutshell, the Socratic paradox suggests that when you say you don't know, what you admit is having that knowledge. It seems like a trap. But the contemplation of what we know and how we know it leads to a question. And the discussion of the question reveals our ignorance, challenges our beliefs, invites new thoughts, and gives us a better question. And that's just as good as an answer. say, I know you won't believe me, but the highest form of human excellence is to question oneself and others. Yes, in fact, some of the best questions tend to come up when we want life to be better than it is. Questions like, what's for dinner? Or, shouldn't someone else be doing all this work? What is happiness, and how do we get more of it? <laughs> Why is there suffering, and how do we avoid it? Even before Socrates, humans were asking questions, and we found ourselves in civilizations that were changing and growing and expanding our horizons. Each new frontier was a challenge, with new neighbors and the exchange of ideas and more questions and creative responses that made our work easier and our leisure time more enjoyable. Yum. We created languages and poetry, and art, and mathematics, and music, and astronomy, and astrology, and systems of law and government. And today we're asking about other civilizations so that we can examine their beliefs and their contributions. And we can ask how those influence the next set of ideas and innovations. And we can ask what made them capable of change and growth. We are trying to understand the world they lived in. We're trying to understand our world. We're creating the world of the future. Frank Barron in his famous research at UC Berkeley, proposed that the conditions that make a whole society consistently original are likely to be similar to the conditions that we know foster individual creativity, the freedom of expression and movement, a lack of fear of dissent or contradiction, the willingness to break with custom, a spirit of play, a dedication to work and purpose on a grand scale. So our question for you is... How do we achieve those conditions? Do we need all of them? Which of them are most important? How do we decide which are most important? Wouldn't that depend on whom you ask? Shouldn't we ask everyone? Best answers I've heard all day. <laughs>